You have got to hear this, Hawk. There's this tale making the rounds. They're saying you single-handedly fought off a pirate invasion at midnight on the sacred ground of the Chantry. Strange that people would get such an idea out of the blue. I may have embellished a detail or two here and there. A little. And added a few things that didn't happen. For pacing, you understand. Just don't be surprised if people seem in awe. What compels you to spin these ridiculous tales? I love the sound of my own voice. And I'm a compulsive liar. Honestly, I don't know. It's just something I do. There's power in stories, though. That's all history is. The best tales, the ones that last. Might as well be mine. I find it hard to believe you're spreading these stories without getting something in return. Well, that just shows what you know, Hawk. The stories are their own reward. You really need to see the look on someone's face when I tell them you ripped the arms off an ogre. <laughs> just once. Wouldn't it make more sense for you to be the main character in these tall tales of yours? There's a recipe to a good hero, Hawk. It's like alchemy. One part down-to-earth, one part selfless nobility, two parts crazy, and you season liberally with wild falsehoods. You let that percolate through a good audience for a while, and when it's done, you've got your hero. And exactly how many taverns have heard this particular story? I only frequent the nice ones, where it goes afterward is anybody's guess. You're beautiful, deadly, and hang out with fantastic dwarves. It would be a crime if people didn't talk about you. Anyway, I'll quit exaggerating before it goes to your head. Isabella, you look well. Are you talking about the flush on my cheeks? It must be the whiskey. Do you remember the relic I told you about? The one I need to find? I've been following a lead. I'm so close I can taste it. The search for this thing has consumed you. Let it go. I just thought I'd let you know that I may soon be taking you up on that offer of help. Do I get a kiss from the feisty temptress when I present her with the hard-won prize? If you want. I'll even let you choose where I plant it. <laughs> I have something for you. Ooh, what's this? Oh, isn't that just the cutest thing? You can't see it, but below deck there's a perfect replica of you, with a dozen sailors in attendance. You tease. <laughs> I'm sure there isn't. It is a worthy goal to work towards, however. Thank you, Hawk. This was a thoughtful gesture. I think I need a bath. Do you think I need a bath? You have information about the missing Kunari? I am to help you, yes. Viscount Dumas would appreciate discretion in this matter. I would prefer that you were not involved at all. But that is neither here nor there. Has anyone reported this to the Kunari? Maker, no. I'd be signing the messenger's death warrant. 
You'll find out soon enough, of course. And when he does, the Viscount is rightly concerned that the illusion of peace will dissolve. The Arashok is growing violent. He might want an excuse to end this peace. I suspect that if the Arashok wanted to take over, he simply would. For all we fear that heretical cune of his, its demands have done more to keep him in check than any of our efforts. Besides, would Kunari stoop to trickery? There is no precedent, but there is unfortunate evidence of influence on our side. It sounds like you don't want them found. I must think of what is best for the Viscount's office. Bringing attention to such an incident benefits no one. You would do nothing? The Kunari are neutral hostiles at best. There is no relationship to salvage by overextending ourselves on their behalf. I'm having a hard time picturing the abduction of a Kunari entourage. Unfortunately, they were not at their best. Their swords were tied into their sheaths. As I advised. It seemed a respectful compromise. Even I know you cannot separate a Kunari from his weapon. I'm sure you have suspicions about what happened. My concerns are well founded. This could not have escaped the notice of the city guard. Unless they were involved. Not coincidentally, a number of recent recruits have failed to report. You should start with one of them. Although where you find a swordsman so eager to sell his honor and duty, I'm sure I don't know. A hanged man. Hanged man. Definitely. Right. Then you know what to look for. I can't imagine this has occurred without notice. There is always a weak link. Please keep this quiet. The Viscount is... Please keep it quiet. Sir. A lot of coin for this place. That's right, pal. Tonight I'm paid and blessed. And all I had to do was turn my head. To all my friends. Hey, step back. I know important people. We're gonna show this city what to do with heed and oxmen. So... Someone paid you to take a Kunari delegate. I made a good wage for looking away while someone tamed a hornhead. So what? They said I should watch out for sympathizers. Traitors. You want something? Take it from me and my new friends. You're on your own, pal. That's loyalty for you. Come on. Let's make this quick. <laughs> This isn't necessary, you know. What? What do you want? I just did what he said. It was more coin than I've ever seen. That's very good. Now, just tell me who and where. Templar. It was a Templar. I didn't get the name. We met near the Chantry. He, he said taking these Kunari was serving the Maker. 
I swear, he even had the seal of the Grand Cleric. True is true. Great. A Templar. With the Grand Cleric seal? How's that for interesting? So, a drunk says the Grand Cleric funded zealots through a rogue Templar. This is enough evidence for you. It's a careful chat about missing Kunari. Hey, it's not like the Templars are going to like me, no matter what I do. The Grand Cleric, please. Tell her... Tell her it concerns the Kunari. Sarah Hawk. Sister Patrice. Mother Patrice. Time has changed us both. Grand Cleric Elfina cannot grant an audience to just anyone. What do you want? Funny how you and issues with the Kunari seem to go together. And you always assume their side. I was naive when last we met. I did not want you dead, but I felt a death was necessary. That may be too fine a point for you to understand. But you must admit, you came out the better for it. A Templar may have misjudged an order, and abused the Grand Cleric's authority. I assure you, the Templars would never embarrass the Chantry, at risk of the Knight Commander's wrath. Men were hired for the righteous task of kidnapping a Canari delegate. A pause that says you knew. But does her grace? The Grand Cleric trusts her stewards to enact the wishes of the Maker. I'll speak to her grace another time. You will not always be here. Stubborn. All right, Sarah Hawk. If you won't abandon this, let me offer you something. The Templar you seek is a radical who has grown... unreliable. Confronting him may do us all a favor. And he is what to you? He is my former bodyguard, Sir Vonnell. Assume what you wish, but I offer him to you as reconciliation. Meet me at this location. I invite you, Sarah Hawk. Come see the unrest these Kunari have inspired. <clears throat> That's a setup. It's her Where's game. game? For the moment. Blondie, I don't mean to sound critical, but have you considered a new line of work? Such as? Pretty much anything. I don't think Renegade Mage has a bright future. Or any retirement plan. Nice place for a rally. Good choice, Van Elm. Patrice is here somewhere. Wonderful. Like any beast, remove the fangs and it is lost. They are weak before the faithful of the Maker. The only certainty in their precious cun is death before the righteous. Take a knee, faithful. The Chantry blesses us. You claim a blessing when you have used the authority of the Grand Cleric so openly? You have brought wrath down upon you. You remember, Sarah Hawk? The Kunari have friends, Templar. How will you answer their allegations? You want to fight? Face someone whose weapons are not bound. Templars are cowards. They only pick on those whose lives they already hold in their hands.
Righteous. Destroy them.
Time to bring this mess to the Viscount's attention. Madness! Madness! Yes, Excellency. Chantry involvement. Even if they are fringe elements. Oh, it could not be worse. Sure it could. You could suddenly realize you're completely naked or something. <laughs> You killed them? All of them? A mother serving the Grand Cleric allowed this to happen. Are you quite sure? She held a blade with them? Told them to fight you? No, I cannot say that. No, of course not. Blasted mother. You have no idea the storm these allegations would cause. It would destroy what support I do have. This may have scared her off. She claimed this was not her intention. Well, that is something. I will make my inquiries. Gently. And you should be careful in your associations. For now, we have other problems. We have the delegate, but... I can't return the bodies to the Canary in this state. Sarah Hawk. You know the Arishok. What should I do? Hiding this would only make it worse. It would, wouldn't it? I'm losing my sense of how to balance this nightmare. I appreciate your help in this matter. As bad as this is, it could have been much worse without you. Kirkwall owes you. I owe you. <laughs>